are you laughing? Three dollars? You're gonna make me pee in my pants. I'm not cheating. I wanna play for real. This is exciting. Next one. Hi, my loves. Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're gonna do a really fun video. And this is actually an idea my team came up with. And I'm actually really excited to do it with you guys. So we're gonna play a game called Guess the Price. I'm gonna be blind smelling some fragrances off the blotter and I have to guess the price of the fragrance. So I'm a little bit nervous because I am totally clueless to what fragrances they pulled. They pulled it from my library, which you guys know I have thousands of fragrances, so it could literally be anything. I have body sprays, I have thousand dollar perfumes, I have $10 perfumes, I have everything. I am really nervous. So before we get started, I just wanna remind you guys as always, please remember to subscribe to my channel. We are at 69,000 subscribers. Yay! I'm so happy. Thank you everyone. I really wanna send you all so much love and appreciation. Every single subscriber makes a big difference in every single engagement you guys do, commenting, liking, and everything you do, sharing this video as well means the world to me. And I'm just so excited to be building my YouTube community with you guys. So thank you so much. We're gonna assume that these are all 100 ml bottles. So we're gonna guess the price for a 100 ml bottle, which is 3.4 fluid ounces just so there's consistency. And we're guessing the price in dollars. So we're starting with fragrance number one. Mm, soft and floral. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. I'm gonna be honest, I feel like this is a Guerlain fragrance. I could be wrong, but I feel like it is. And Guerlain is a little bit expensive. So I'm gonna say this is around $120 per 100 ml. Why are you laughing? <laughs> Why are you laughing so bad? Is it $10? It's $3? $3? <laughs> oh my god, I love it! <laughs> Chloe's crying! <laughs> You're gonna make me pee in my pants! Oh my god, I am in so much shock right now. Shocked, shocked. This is a 100 ml bottle. It's called Pink Rose, and Chloe bought it yesterday from Carrefour for how much? Oh my God. This is $3, guys. Wow. I'm actually gonna buy some because this is Chloe's, she bought it. And I wanna add this to my collection. It's really interesting. It's made in the UAE, which is really cool. Shout out to Dubai. I love UAE made brands, but I'm just, yeah, I'm shocked. It's called Pink Rose Shirley May. I'm gonna see if I can look up the notes for this fragrance. Probably not, but let's see. They have it on Fragrantica. Oh my God. It's a floral fragrance launched in 2013 and it's English rose, peony, mandarin orange, and amber. I'm really surprised they have it here because it's made in the UAE and it's probably a more like regional brand, but super exciting it's here. Well done to Pink Rose because this smells like very like, it smells like Guerlain. I am scared now. I'm not cheating. I want to play for real. This is exciting. I'm so nervous now because I just bombed the first one <laughs> so bad. I, I want to say this is probably mid-range. Let's say around $50 for 100 ml. 80, what is it? This is Guerlain? The other one smelled more Guerlain than this one. So this fragrance by Guerlain. So this one is actually Guerlain. The other one was not. I didn't guess it. I wanted to say, I think it smells Guerlain-ish, but then I got scared. This one for a 100 ml bottle, even though it's not available in 100 ml, it'd be around $125 if we're gonna calculate like per ml. But it's nice. I'm gonna spray it on skin to compare. It's really pretty, but I would never think that this is $3 and this is $125. Like the difference is just not there. The bottle on this one is so beautiful. It's not just about the fragrance, it's the quality of ingredients, it's the amount of alcohol, it's the bottle, it's the packaging, the outer packaging, the labor and love that goes into the whole storytelling, but yeah, this is great. This is really nice, but I feel like it's something I know. I feel like it's from Bath & Body Works. Is it? I really love this one. If I'm gonna guess just based on smell without trying to remember what it is or what it could be, I would say it's around $100 for 100 ml. What is it? Yeah. Zara, no way, which one? Oh my God. This fragrance is by Zara and it's only 
$32 for 100 ml, insane. And I just recently started buying a whole bunch of Zara and H&M fragrances because so many people talk about them. It's really nice. All right, fragrance number four. Thank you. God, I'm so nervous. Ah, this is something I know so well. Jasmine, it's like a beautiful jasmine fragrance. I don't know what this is, but I love it. The smell is very strong. It smells like very good quality ingredients. I am so terrified of guessing the price because I've just been so off this whole time. But quality of ingredients smells very good and very strong. So I'm going to say $125. $250? $250? What is this? I'm off again. I'm just terrible at this game. <laughs> I'm so like disappointed in myself. I'm gonna have to give away my title as Perfume Princess. So I did guess it was an expensive bottle, but I didn't know it was this expensive. This is around $250 for 100 ml. Again, probably because it's such a great brand. The bottle is so sexy. Cap is really heavy. It's probably the MAC material, but the quality of ingredients definitely smells really, really nice. This definitely to me smelled the most expensive out of all of them, just based on smell alone. Next one. <gasps> oh my God, I'm so nervous. Honestly, this smells cheap. And again, I'm, I'm gonna try my best trying not to like remember what this something is because then I get confused, but just based on smell alone, it smells very cheap. I have no idea. So I'm gonna guess $25. What is it? 10, $10? What is this? Jovan, this is an OG. Oh my God. Yeah, this is an OG. Okay, this is pretty close. I guess this would be like around $15 for 100 ml. So very affordable, very cheap. It smells cheap, I'm sorry to anyone who likes this fragrance. It just smells very cheap to me. Like you could see a huge difference to the previous fragrances and honestly, even comparing it to the first fragrance we sprayed, that smelled more expensive than this. This smells really cheap. Finally, I got something kind of right. <laughs> Thank you, all right. Mm, I really love this. I'm gonna say $80. Oh, this is Montal? Mm, mm. So I guessed $80. This one's about $65. It's Royal Oud by Montal. I love Montal fragrances. They're beautiful. Very nice, very, very nice. I would actually even say this smells much more expensive. And I feel like Montal only charges more affordable prices because their packaging is so cheap. It's like a tin and they just color it based on the actual scent. And just knowing from product development, that's a very affordable way to change packaging. So I think they spend all their money on the actual juice, but they smell very high quality, very long lasting. So if you want a really nice fragrance, but you don't care so much about the packaging, Montal is really good quality, very long lasting. What a fun game. All right, I'm very nervous though. Not even oh. Okay, let's see. <sighs> wow. I'm really enjoying blind smelling. I should do this more. I'm so scared to be wrong, but whatever. I feel like this is very Victoria's Secret-ish. I'm gonna guess $40. Oh, is it? This is actually by KKW, and this is KKW Body 3. This is $60 for 100 ml. I love this bottle. I think the bottles are so cool. They're so artistic. Yeah, this scent, just smelling on the bladder, kind of made me think of like Victoria's Secret-ish, like heavenly, that kind of era of Victoria's Secret fragrances, you know, late 90s, 2000s. That's what it reminded me of. Interesting. But I love her bottles. So nice. Look at that. Thank you. Okay. Mm. This smells more expensive to me. Is this Tom Ford? This smells very Tom Fordish to me. I'm trying to put my finger on which one it is. But yeah, it definitely smells expensive. I would say $150 to $200. This is actually Noir de Noir, which is one of my favorite fragrances from Tom Ford. So it's a lot more expensive than we mentioned. It's around $500. I love Tom Ford fragrances. I feel like you can just tell what's Tom Ford. You know, they're so good. Honestly, this, this smells expensive to me, but I'm scared of you. I feel like, is this a local brand? A regional brand? I'm gonna say $150. Okay, so this is H&M and Black Papyrus, and it's uh, $38 for the 50 ml, so it'd be around $70 for the 100 ml. Very nice, very um, spicy and woody. Mm, nice, I definitely did not think it was a $70 perfume at all. Mm. I can't 
tell with this one. I feel like the scent reminds me of something very like home fragrance-ish, but it smells like good quality. So I'm like really confused. I'm gonna say $80. Is it $2? Five? <laughs> Which one is this? You got some best sellers. Wow. So this is the same brand, Shirley May, and this is called La Home Prime. So this is how much? $5. This is $5 and I think it's 100 ml. Wow. Again, would never guess this is $5. Never, 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 never. I would love to see how it wears on skin because that other one, Shirley Rose, disappeared almost right away. This is a nice men's cologne. But yeah, I, I would want to question longevity just because knowing how this disappeared on my skin so fast, I think this one would probably do the same, but you never know. I think something that we learned today is that you definitely cannot judge a fragrance by its price tag. So this is really fun. I really enjoyed this game. I hope you guys enjoyed watching. I would definitely love to do this again and maybe bring somebody on to, to guess with me. What an experience. Honestly, I'm blown away. I really did not have a clue of fragrances the team pulled today and I had no idea what I was smelling. So honestly, even for myself, like I've learned a lot today. I'm very surprised. And so I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this video as much as I did just guessing these perfumes. And as always, I like to end every video with a quote of the day. And I think this one fits very perfectly. Don't judge a book by its cover. Just never know like this is crazy i'm still i'm still in shock right now so guys i'd love to hear what fragrances have surprised you whether it was a fragrance that you bought that was really affordable and it ended up being really high quality long lasting amazing or even an expensive fragrance that really made you surprised by the longevity or anything like that so share your comments below i'd love to hear from you guys and if there's any fragrances you recommend for me to try as always please put them in the comments below we always try all of your suggestions i love you all so much and i hope you enjoy fragrance shopping and remember never judge a book or a fragrance by its price tag love you guys bye